Hey everyone, welcome back or to my channel. My name is Tenzin and if you're new, thank you so much for being here and for clicking this video. In today's video, I just wanted to, as you can tell by the title, talk about 24 lessons that I've learned by my 24th year. My birthday was on October 14th. Since I'm a year older, I would like to think that I am also a little bit wiser and I have picked up a few more important life lessons along the way. And so I just wanted to share it and I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that a few of these resonate with you and yeah don't forget to leave a comment and like this video if you enjoy it and I will get started. Follow your intuition because nine times out of ten your gut is helping you see things more clearly and I feel as though this just comes with age and experience. The older you get it feels like the more you can trust yourself and realize that there is a reason why you feel a certain way in the moment and it is a chance to just sit with yourself, reflect, and come to terms with what your intuition is telling you and I think that that is very powerful and it is something that we don't want to overlook. Nothing is ever worth jeopardizing your peace of mind whether that's a person anything in life that comes your way because at the end of the day your peace of mind is what you have and even though so many things in life can change and things can happen to you you have your peace of mind to come back to even though everything else is not in your control i do feel as though peace of mind is something that can be in your control change is the only constant in life so learn to embrace it Change is something that's so interesting because a lot of people are afraid of it and aren't comfortable with the idea of it. But I feel as though when you have that mindset, it is really hard to grow as a person and to push yourself and live to your fullest potential. This is something that I have to remind myself of, but it's comforting to know that when we're experiencing changes and when things are changing around us, that means that we are having opportunities for growth. And if you're not growing, then are you really living? If it's meant to be yours, it will effortlessly be. If not, you will feel the need to force it. And that means that it's not meant to be yours. And I feel like this can apply to any situation, but yeah, if if everybody adopted this mindset, I feel as though we wouldn't be so tied to a decision or a outcome in something, in it, whether it's a relationship or a experience, an opportunity, it's whatever it may be, knowing that it will not pass you by. And that is something that I do have to remind myself, but I think it really helps me in seeing things for what they are and remembering that if something doesn't work in my favor, that just opens up the door for bigger and better things. Your mind is a powerful tool. Use it wisely. And this is something that is another important one because although there are so many things in life that are out of our control, I feel as though your thoughts and your the way that you interact with your emotions are in your control. If they wanted to, they would. Bangs look so good on other people they don't necessarily look good on you. You tried it, at least you gave it a shot, but it's just not my thing. <laughs> Make room for people in your life that support you, lift you up, and empower you in your personal growth because life is just too short not to. And weed out the people that don't do any of that. And not only the ones who bring you negative emotions or make you feel pain, but people who just don't serve you in any way in your life in your purpose i feel as though that is also really important to remember because what is the point of having relationships in your life that are stagnant how is that helping either person in your life including yourself you are allowed to be a multifaceted person with contrasting ideas opinions hobbies and interests and this is something that I've also learned recently because as humans, we can be contradicting and I feel as though as long as your fundamental values and morals are intact, then 
as a human, it's completely normal to explore other versions of yourself and develop yourself as a person and get to know different sides of you that you've never addressed and that you've never been able to explore. Especially as women, I feel like we're allowed to be multifaceted people because we are inherently and that should be completely normalized. You are the only person who is holding yourself back from getting what you want. If your words and your actions do not align, reevaluate. Going along with that, actions speak louder than words. This is something that I've just learned personally for me is that if you are looking for a source of entertainment or just more knowledge on a specific topic 95 percent chance that there's a podcast out there for you that will cater to that and i've learned that it is so fun to listen to a podcast when you're doing main mundane activities change starts small dedicating yourself to creating and keeping small habits will lead you to create the sustainable change that you're looking for I feel as though we're looking to make them. We like to, I think that it's natural to want that to happen overnight, but usually that is not possible <laughs> because change takes time. You have to invest time and energy and focus and work in order to create and maintain it. And I feel as though if we adapted this mindset more, then we will actually make that bigger change that we're looking for over time and there's more of a chance that it'll stay in our life because we didn't have these high expectations of it happening right away. Self-love is a never-ending journey and it is a process. And life happens and circumstances change and are unpredictable but self-love should always be a guiding compass that gets you through it and that gets you through any situation or hardships. Nothing is ever really a loss. It's a lesson that gives you clarity and that can also lead to peace of mind. Suppressing emotions is unhealthy and in the long term, it is unproductive and not going to solve anything. So feel it, release it, and grow from it. You are simultaneously a work in progress and a masterpiece. Practicing gratitude is one of the keys to happiness. I feel like this has been something I have learned, especially recently due to the pandemic and with all of the sudden changes in our environment, I have learned that when you practice gratitude on a daily basis, you remember what is really important in life and it, it almost humbles you and puts into perspective so many things that just aren't that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. And this isn't to discredit any emotions or feelings you may be having on the daily basis because those are valid, but in the grand big picture of this entire world, gratitude has a way of making you feel like, first of all, feelings are temporary and that so so much to be grateful for at the end of the day and all of that all of that abundance and all of the things that you're that we can be grateful for outweighs any temporary emotion or experience that we're going through right now external validation is usually fleeting internal validation is a tool that you can always unlock within you and tap back into whenever you need a pick-me-up this is something that in our day and age I've learned with social media that it's really easy to seek and receive validation from, like I said, those external ways. But you can never rely on it because people are temporary usually and things are temporary. You do have yourself that can always be that will always be there and that will be with you when you were at your darkest point and your darkest hour um, but a person might not necessarily be there in that exact moment so I feel as though relying on yourself is something that empowers you and it reminds you that everything you're looking for in terms of acceptance validation is already within you it's something that you have control over and you have the power to obtain. Spending time alone is empowering and really helps with confidence. 
I've noticed this just by doing this more myself. I think that I used to always feel like I needed to be around a lot of people to be happy because I definitely am a sociable person. But at the end of the day, you have you and that is a constant <laughs> in life. So what is the point of only being the best version of yourself and happiest when you're around others i feel as though being alone lets you learn more about yourself and just lets you think what you want to think feel what you want to feel and not have to always worry about what other people are thinking about what you said or what you did and so i feel as though this is something that has personally helped me a lot with gaining confidence and striving for independence. And it's very liberating too. Veganism is one of the best lifestyle choices I could have made for myself. Sometimes the best mood booster is dancing and singing in your room with your headphones in, in front of a mirror. In the moment, that is what you need sometimes. <laughs> Last but not least, this is a big credit to my previous manager. He would always remind us that it's not that deep and that is something that over the past year I heard quite a lot and I'm really trying to learn it and trying to just keep it as a mantra to remind myself that it's really not that deep and whatever's happening now will be temporary and to not overthink because I have the tendency to do that. So that was my video. Those were all my lessons I've learned. And I wanted to also say that although I've learned these lessons, I'm still learning them and I still have to remind myself from time to time that I picked up these lessons. These are something that I have to carry with me. So I'm not perfect, but this is just something that I can always tap into. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. Leave me a comment on which lesson you related to the most and that you learned as well on your journey. And that was it for my video. Uh, at the end of this, I will include a little snippet of the day of my birthday. And I hope you enjoy that. So don't forget to, like I said, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment and subscribe. Thank you. My mama set up my room with these really cute balloons for my birthday. And I came over to some cute candles here and here. And she got me my favorite treat, which are vegan crepes. I'm so excited to open this up and I will show you what it, type of crepe it is. But whatever it is, I will be so satisfied. And then a freaking vegan milkshake from the crepe store as well. I'm so excited to have this. It's going to be perfect after work treat. And then there's a card. And then a freaking... <laughs> Perfume! Oh my gosh, she knows I love perfume and scents. I was not expecting this at all. And clothes? Wait, let me... Ooh, it's like a cropped button-up fuzzy... Oh, oops. My bad. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Fuzzy sweater from Urban. And then this is... Um, Something like, I think, new style in What is that, pants? It's pants. It's a... Hold on. Medium Urban Outfitters pants. Looks really comfortable. Kind of stretchy too. I like this color. Well, that'll be kind of a cute outfit together. <laughs> and then I got a check. I was so excited. I am 24 years old. Literally, where has this past year gone? It's really crazy to think that I am entering my mid-20s but I am hopeful that there are such great things ahead for me and that I will be growing and evolving into the best version of myself and I'm so grateful for it and the opportunity to thrive and learn and change and yeah just be better and be bigger and just live life fully.
but um, I just wanted to show you this was the outfit I was wearing today because I did go to work and so I had to keep the outfit work appropriate but this is my it's a jumpsuit um, actually this is pretty old like I think I got this a couple years ago but it's from Marshalls or TJ Maxx I can't remember which one and then I got to wear on top of this jumpsuit i wore my navy blue uh, gap blazer and then just my black booties to complete it and then just to be fancy since it was my birthday i had to bring out my gold hoops because i don't know like gold hoops were kind of my signature look in college especially for nights out so i'm so happy to wear them again because it's been a few weeks since i last wore them and straightened my hair this morning as well but yeah i'm going to shower and eat my leftover pho that i bought for myself last night which i'm so excited about and then i'm going to devour the crepe that my mom got me it's gonna be so good bye